Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Jewelry Pirate. This is Barbara. Um, I know you can't really see right now, but I've been doing a real lot of work here, uh, cleaning up and rearranging things and getting caught up on videos. I only have a couple more things on those to do, and um, I'll have that all caught up by tomorrow. But as I was cleaning and moving things around, I came across a few things that um, I thought you might be interested in. So I figured I'd come on and um, see if anybody would like any of this stuff. There's um, some stuff here that you've never seen before. And there's some vintage stuff. Um, there's some name brand stuff. There's some really big statement pieces. Um, and there's some, you know, just normal stuff. I have a, I actually have a, a crafty type bag here. I don't know for anybody that is interested in, um, pieces for vintage jewelry. Um, so anyway, let's get started. Again, don't forget to like the video, hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget to share. Sharing is important. You might have some friends that might be interested in seeing what I have to offer, and, uh, also, comment if you're interested in something. Remember, if you see something you like, put the timestamp in the comments. Um, a brief description would be helpful. And um, I will go back in and I will um, add the prices in the comments to most of your videos. Most of your claims, excuse me. And also, don't forget to um, hit the bell in case you'd like to be informed when I upload a new video. All right, so let's see what I have here, and let's see what we can do about moving it, okay? Um, I have a very nice set here, and it's by Laura Ashley. And let me see if I can get it out. It's all new on card. Okay. I did a lot of work cleaning up and moving things around and it'll be evident more evident in the few days coming so now I'm working on getting a stool so all I have is a big chair and uh, it just doesn't fit in the space that I have okay here's the necklace and this is beautiful. All right, there's your Laura Ashley thing. And um, I would say that this, you know, it's funny. It looks silver tone, but yet it looks gold tone too. It looks like there's different things going on here. These are all um, enamel inside of the thing with, along with uh, rhinestones. And there's a beautiful pair of earrings that totally match this set. I'll take them out and show them to you. I don't know. This was tucked away somewhere. I don't think you guys have ever seen this. Um, yeah, these are very pretty. Everything looks perfect on them. Okay, let me show you a close-up of the necklace. It's in perfect condition. And it's really pretty. It's not, you know, it's big enough to be a statement. But it's not big enough to really, um, you know, be one of those things that's like pow-wow in your face. But it's very, very nice. Need to get some better light going on here. I don't know what's going on. Let me see if I can do something here. Nope, that's not good. Let's try this. Nope. I think that's the best. Let me see if it'll go up at all. No. Okay. So, that's the necklace. And we have that. 
Now I have this, and this is new on cord. Now, if you need a really nice rope chain, this is a really nice rope chain. Okay, now, you could take this tassel off of here and this off of here and just put the tassel on there or take that all off together. This is brand new. This is on card. I don't think I have anybody with a W uh, in their last name. But this is a great chain. It's long too. So this is available. Okay, now I have a couple of sets here. Let me take these out. I don't think you guys have seen any of these. A little buster. Oh. All right. I'm going to put these earrings right here. All right. This set here. This is a set. The next one isn't a set. Um, I don't see any name on this, but let me move, turn this this way. Maybe I'll give me some more light. All right. This is a pendant. Okay, this is very pretty. Um, it's open in the back. And then we have matching earrings. These need backs. I have to put backs on them. But these match the pendant and their posts. And then I have just a pair of... Um, these are cat eye posts. These are very pretty also. Let's see if I can get you a close up on these. Well, oh, there goes one. But you get the idea. These are very nice earrings and a nice set. All right. Okay, so we'll put that down here. Now, this is um, a bag of wool single earrings. And there is a lot of stuff in here. So if anybody's interested in um, a bag full of things that you can use in other projects, there's a lot of shepherd hooks. There's old earrings in here. There's new earrings in here. I bet you this weighs... Hmm. I'm not sure. It's heavy. I just kept stuffing and stuffing and stuffing and stuffing stuff in this bag. So, it's got to be a quarter of a pound at least. So, if anybody's interested in this... Um, I even see a piece of malachite staring at me down there. Six dollars, okay? And I don't like to give, you know, do the prices, but that would be a fair thing to do in here. There's all kinds of stuff in here. There's lever backs. There's enamel. Um, real old-fashioned ones. I don't see a lot of uh, clips. Okay. I mean, not that there isn't any. I think this is a pin. But um, everything else pretty much is earrings. So, well, single earrings. Okay. Now I have this bag. I have three bags of earrings here. All right. And uh, I have this bag, which is a red bag, there's hoops, hoops with dangles, anchors, 
dangle bobbles. There's even a ring there. It looks like it's got some wear. Um, what else is in here? So there's this bag here. Then I have these here. Um, this one here is all pieces and parts. Okay. Um, these are those Indian earrings. All right. So there's a lot of nice glass beads in here. And there's a lot of hooks, shepherd hooks in here. And then I have one where I paired them all up. And I'm not sure how many is in, in here. And they're not all... There's one pair here that's really pretty. Which uh, looks like it has a quartz on the end of it. So, all three of these here, five dollars. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. Now, this is a brand new necklace. I found this hidden somewhere. I don't know if anybody's interested in this. This is on a cord. It's very delicate. Let me see if I can get it all apart. See, whenever these things are put in these baggies, and I will put this back in the baggie. And this feels like, I don't know, I think it's ultra suede. All right, but there's three cords, and then there's this long pendant full of um, rhinestones down at the bottom. Okay, and gold tone, and it has a lobster claw clasp with uh, um, a teardrop on the end. So I'm going to put this right back in this baggie. Anybody's interested in that, let me know. It comes in the baggie. Okay, now I have... Uh, a really old pair of these are screw back earrings and these are milk glass and let's see what the name is on this oh, these are he's got a problem so let me let me pull these to the side I just put those there bring them up at another time Okay, so the next pair we have are these, we're into dolphins. I have a really cute pair. Uh, they look like dolphins. They're in the shape of a dolphin, but they're colored like orcas. So you tell me what you think they are. Come on. There we go. See, look at the, the mouth on them. Doesn't that look more like a dolphin? than an orca, but they're colored like a orca. All right, so we have that. Now, let me show you this bag here. Okay. In here, everything is vintage. All right. These are acrylic beads. And these are all um, like a gold tone and then the yellow beads, they're all off the strand. The beads are really nice. They're old. All right. Then we have this one, which is part of the way on the strand. And these are old beads. And some of them are off. This has a great... Um, piece here to use in jewelry making. All right, and these are acrylic also. We have those. And then we have some blue ones um, that are acrylic. These are all apart, but sometimes people can use these for, like if you have some old necklaces and you need to do things with them. You have those. Okay, next. This needs a clasp. 
This is really old, but it needs a clasp. Okay, it's, um, I think it's metal, and I don't know if it's beads or what. It's very um, lightweight. I can't tell if those are all little seed beads or just seed bead it on chain. But anyway, there's that. All right. Then we have these, which are this. Let me see, I don't want to know if this is a part or not. All right. This is not a part, but these are all Austrian crystals. Uh, spring ring clasp. I don't see anything written on it. Let me get this up close. These are beautiful. And this is all intact, either as a as it's an anklet or a necklace. If it's a necklace, it would definitely be a choker. Beautiful this is. All right. It's amazing when you start cleaning what you find. Okay, this is one of those around your neck necklaces you know, that you put on, but it has a really pretty, it comes with the, it's a beautiful mother of pearl hand carved cross on the end of that. It's very pretty. All right, so you have that. Oh, I just lost the bag. And what's nice about this neck piece is you can use it with another, and it has a V. So your pendant's not going to be traveling all over the, you know, the necklace. Okay. All right. Now we have this necklace. And how I'll work this, if anybody's interested in these, let me know. You can make me an offer. All right. Now this is very old. Um, this is all intact. It's beautiful. All right. This is pearls and chain together. This is your clasp. You push on this and it comes out of the bead. I'm sure you've seen those before. Really pretty. This is long. It's got to be at least a 24 or 26 inch necklace. It's more than 24. All right, let me show you this up close. This is gorgeous. There we go. And for the age of this thing, it actually is in pretty good condition. I don't see no chipping or stuff on the pearls and so forth and so on. Very nice. The chain is all bright. Okay, so we have that in here. Now, somebody spent a lot of time working on this. This is all hand done. This is a what you would call an applique for your clothing. It's all hand done with bugle beads. Okay, and it has these long tassels hanging down. All right, and there's all the hand stitching on here. This is a beautiful piece. This, this this here alone is probably worth $20. It's gorgeous. I mean, really gorgeous. And it's so fluid, the, um, the bugle beads on this. You know, if you have a dress, like a plain black dress, this would be beautiful to put on like a shoulder, you know, or up on, um, you know, by your neck. It's gorgeous. It's just, it's just beautiful. Okay.
All right, we have a couple more things going here. Now these are old and these are real. Okay. I don't see any markings on these. These are screw back earrings and they're arrowheads. A lot of different coloring in them. Very nice old pieces. All right, we have those. Things are falling all over the place here. So I'm trying to do this. So what you can do with this bag is put in the comments, just put um, vintage grab bag and uh, make an offer. And whoever comes up with the highest offer on this bag will get it because there is some nice things in here. All right, this is old and this is intact. No, it's not completely intact. This is a collar. It needs a clasp. It is beautiful. Let me show you this. All you have to do is put a couple jump rings on this with a clasp. And you got to, you know, you could put a chain on it too to make it longer. It is really very beautiful. Okay. So, very vintage. There's your pieces there. All right, we got one more, or two more, two more bags in here. But one bag has three things in it. There's a lot of stuff in this grab bag. Okay, let's do this one. All right, this one, this is a, a bracelet. These are hearts. And it's got one of those funky old class books on it. Where is it? Right there. I can put it in my hand. I am really tired. I've been doing a lot with the jewelry today. So, this is pretty red, really red. Okay, now we have another one with a bigger funky clasp on it. And this is clear beads, and these are hearts. <clears throat> now we have that. There's, oh, there's more than three pieces in here. Excuse me. All right, let me grab both of these out of here, see what we have. Put these back in. All right. This is an old... Uh, get this this also needs a couple jump rings in a clasp these are this this is made out of really old-fashioned I'm pretty sure these are Czechoslovakian seed beads they're all um, equal they're beautiful seed beads and the jump ring is on one side so all you need to do is add a lobster claw clasp to this these are gorgeous beads that's how you can tell quality beads and they're the fluidity because of the fact that they're such quality seed beads there is a big difference in seed beads look at the shimmer on these just looking at it from that distance they change color they're beautiful all right so we have that and the last thing in here this is cute is a necklace and this is all intact all right it's got an extender let me show you this close up this is beautiful all right and I would say it's probably 18 inches at least plus the extender but it's beautiful and there's um, pearls up at the top also so all right so that's all that in that bag and we got one more bag left in here and I don't know 
what is in this bag. Okay, this is a bracelet with a fold over clasp. I'm looking for some markings. I don't see any. It's beautiful. It's got nice weight to it. There's the clasp. And this is all, all good shape. It's heavy. For what it is, it's got weight to it. Put it in my hand so you can get a closer look. Okay. This is a pretty bracelet. All right, so that's what's in this bag. So like I said, the best way to do this, maybe nobody will want this, but there is some beautiful things in here. And there's a lot of stuff in here that can be repurposed and reused. And there's stuff that can be worn. There's vintage stuff. There's a few things that just need like maybe one or two things to make it complete to wear. There's others in here that you don't have to do anything to it. Um, a lot of it's really old. And uh, I just figured I found all this. I figured maybe you'd be interested in it. So, all right, I think I got it all now. There's a lot of beads here. All right, let's move on to the next bag. And we're gonna need Buster because there's some beautiful things in here. These are all vintage, everything that's in here. All right. Okay, first necklace that we have. This looks like Amazonite. This is very old. It's got a barrel clasp on it. It's gold tone. This is gorgeous. All these pearls and this here. This I'm telling you, this definitely looks. It's not. It's not green adventuring. It definitely looks like Amazonite. It's really pretty. I love the chain. It's very articulated. Lots of movement. And what's nice about it is the stones have different tones. So it's not... You can tell they're real stones on here. This is beautiful. And no extender. But the length on this is 18 inches. Okay. All right. Now, this is very old also. This is a real hematite necklace. Absolutely gorgeous. Statement. I don't see any name on this. I just dug these things out today. They were this has actually has a fold over clasp in one spot, which is right here. What for I don't know. I'm gonna look at it, see if I see anything inside of it. I mean even the clasp on this is quality. It's really nice. Okay, I'm ready to go to bed. Alright. Here you go. This is absolutely beautiful. It's really long. I don't know if we can see this. Come on, baby. Let me take this off of here. See if we can do this. This is a beautiful necklace, and it has weight. And I would say... It's probably 26, 28 inches. All right, here I'm showing it to you better. That's doubled on here. So you can double this. 
That's how long it is. All right. Now the next piece I have is these are all all old pieces here. Ah, uh, this is hematite also. This is your chance to get some really old, real hematite. Now these green beads that are on here, I have no idea what they are. Put this in my hand. Let me just roll this off. This is long also. I don't know if you can see those green beads, the barrel beads. There's all kinds of different shape beads on this. Beautiful. It's probably 24 inches all together. And you've got beads that look like bolts. you got beads that look like washers. They aren't, but I mean, I'm just telling you. Um, and then you have these beautiful green beads. And I don't know what they are. They have texture. So this is a nice necklace also. I don't see a clasp anywhere on it. It's got gold toned beads some places. And in other places it has the green beads in between. Like right here. Alright, so there you go. Beautiful necklace. The next one is magnificent. These are all vintage pieces. Every one of these. We've got quite a few yet. Hope I can get this video loaded. Every time it gets long, I have a hard time getting them loaded. Um, this is a long necklace. Again, hematite. Um, I want to say mother of pearl. But it, some, it looks like mother of pearl, but then again it doesn't. So if anybody knows what this is, these are beautiful. So beautiful. And if these don't sell, I, have not a, I don't have a problem keeping them because they're beautiful. But necklaces, there you go. These are absolutely gorgeous. I wish I knew what they were. It's still hanging over the back, so you can see how long this is. And this is hematite. All right, so we have that. Now I have an old red and white braided necklace with um, milk glass clasp. This is a choker. This is old. Old, old, old. It needs some cleaning. Um, I don't see any verdigris, but I do see dirt. Um, there's a name on this, but I can't see it. Let me show you on the buster. Okay. This is beautiful. This is very old. And... There's your, um, your glass, your milk glass glass with your milk glass beads. And um, this is small, so it's definitely a choker. Old. Really old. And uh, let me look with my loop and just in case I can see what it says on here. Probably Japanese or something. Yes, it's Japan. Okay, so this is definitely an old piece of Japanese jewelry with the milk glass clasp. <clears throat> All right, I got another necklace. Probably going to cut this. Uh, Okay, this is a combination of acrylic and stones. This is very pretty. It's got a lobster claw clasp. It's multi-strand. I'm going to just put this, if I can, on here. Oh. 
All right, so you got all these seed beads. You got glass beads. You got acrylic beads. It's very long. Let me show you. Multi-strand. Um, I don't know what these beads are here, but they're glass. This is very pretty. There's the top. There are a couple of wooden beads mixed in here with the glass beads. Lobster claw clasp. Okay. This is gorgeous. There you go. There's those stones. Okay. All right, let me show you this. Now, these are lever backs, but one of the lever backs, I mean, it can be glued, but these are beautiful. Um, door knocker, rose quartz earrings. So, I would put new door knockers on them, or you could put a drop of glue on the, I don't know how to explain it to you, the, the post moves around. So if you put a little drop of glue in there, it'll stay there. But these are beautiful. And they're nice big, big pieces of rose quartz. Okay. What else do I have? I have a couple of pins. These are from the church councils and there's two pins in here one is a New York State pin which is this one from 2015 and this one here is also New York State building his dream New York State and this is an old pin these are older from 2015 let's see what date is on this one I guess it's the same. All right. Oh, we're going to put all that back in there. I'm going to take one piece out of here because the rest of it I'll do in, in another, I'll add it into another video. And then I'm going to cut this video short. All right. Put this on Buster. I guess this is the piece de resistance of the video. But these are all things that I turned around and I found today as I was cleaning. As you can see, there's a lot more room up here now. This is a huge, huge, humongous statement necklace. Let's see if I can bring this up so you can see it. I'm looking at it close. It looks to me like everything is there. It'll take a very special woman to wear this piece. It is beautiful. I don't see anything missing. Wow. So, it doesn't have an extender, just a lobster claw, double chain. It is humongous. It is heavy. You want to make a statement? There you go. All right, I'm stopping because I know I'm going to have a problem up uploading this to YouTube. Uh, remember, the um, bag with all the goodies in it, the um, vintage stuff, just put a price in there in, in the comments. And like I said, if anybody else is interested in it, put a price in also. Keep an eye on the prices. So, and I would say probably um, in a couple days, you know, we'll figure out who gets it. Or maybe nobody will get it, okay? Um, the other items I will turn around and, uh, you know, I will send you prices. And uh, don't forget the earring baggies. And don't forget this magnificent piece of jewelry and uh, thank you for coming in and watching and when you see this soon that it's all cleaned up I'm going to have this fixed up I'm going to be doing 
the informative and, and the know-how videos. So just as soon as I get a stool here. Now there's another video coming up after this tonight. So let me see what time it is. Oh. Yeah. Let me get this uploaded so you can see this one first and then the other one will come on after that. All right, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the ch video. And hit that notification bell in case you'd like to be informed when I upload a video. I want to thank everybody for watching. And uh, be safe out there. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.